What is up everyone, it's Richard Fantastic here and after days of struggle and loads of research, I finally figured out the simplest and flawless way to install the new Windows 11 on any sort of unsupported PC or laptop. I'm confident in this method because I have used this method to install the Windows 11 on 4 unsupported devices in total. Just for the sake of this video so that I can make sure that it works as it should, I've installed it on 2 laptops and 2 PCs including my own PC and laptop. And it has been working flawlessly with no errors whatsoever. You can even see here that the PC Health app still tells me that my PC is not eligible despite running the Windows 11 which is quite hilarious. And this method is incredibly simple and fast. You don't need the latest processor or TPM or even secure boot. It will work on anything. You don't need to do any sort of coding or cracking. And don't worry, you won't lose any of your data. So no need to worry. So the first thing you need to do is download the ISO file file from Microsoft's official website. It's absolutely free. You don't need to pay for anything. I'll link it in the description down below. It's around 5 GB. It's very easy to download. After it is downloaded, it's gonna look something like this. Now create a new folder anywhere and extract the ISO files into that. After that, go to the Google Drive link in my description and download this file name Appraises now copy this file and then go to the folder you just made and open another folder named sources and then just paste it there and replace it. This is actually the file that contains the hardware restriction code but the file that I have replaced with we've deleted those code lines that restrict you from upgrading. You can even delete the restriction codes by yourself by searching all the lines with the word CPU and TPM and delete them all by yourself but I don't suggest that. It's too much of a hassle plus you may mess up a little. After you have replaced, go back to the folder and just double click on the setup and then just click install and accept the terms and conditions after that and that is literally it. I'm not kidding, it is that simple. It's gonna start to install automatically. It can take around a couple of hours. It of course depends on how fast your PC is. So be patient, it will take some time. And after it is done installing, voila, Windows 11 will be installed on your PC and honestly speaking i just love it the new icons animations features and everything about the windows 11 is just so much better and refined i've been enjoying using it some people were saying that you won't receive updates with this method but i have received plenty of those and i haven't faced any sort of major bugs or something like that so go ahead and install it on your pcs and laptops share this video with your friends and family and if you got any questions just let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching rob lagan's video and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe with that bell icon i bring regular videos just like this one i'll see you guys next time and up until then be fantastic